Last time we were able to set up Python on our Windows machine, so in this video we're gonna go ahead and set up our virtual environment and also set up our Django project. So to get started, we are going to need to have Visual Studio Code installed and also Git installed. For VS Code, this is the editor we are going to be using to basically write all the code for our project. So if you don't have it, please come over here, download this and you're going to be good to go. Now, whenever you download this, then also make sure you come over here and you, you download Git if you don't have it yet. So the reason why we are downloading Git here is besides having to use Git in our project for source control, we are going to need to use Git to get access to the Git bash. So Git bash basically is a command line tool that get installed when you install Git on Windows. So that gives us a Unix type of an environment, which is similar to what is available on a Mac. So that will make sure that every command I write in Mac will be able to even run if you're using the git bash as your command line tool. All right, so to get started, we need to first create our virtual environment. Now to work with the virtual environments, I'm going to open up the command line here. So we need to create a virtual environment. So before we do that, let me sit into my desktop. Then I'm going to create a folder here called to do site. So to do site, because that's what our project is. Then I'm going to cd into to do site. So to do site. And over here, we need to create a virtual environment. Now to create a virtual environment, we are going to need to have to install a module called virtual env. So to install virtual env, we are going to install it using pip. So to do pip install virtual env so run that so it's going to go ahead and install so you see that for me i actually already had it but if you don't it's going to go ahead and install now we can use virtual env to create a virtual environment so here we can do virtual env then we can give our environment name so ours is going to be called vmf all right so when you run this it's going to go ahead and execute a few things but the important thing is it creates for us a folder. So here when we do dar, it creates for us a folder called vim, which contains all our packages. Initially, it's going to have Python and pip specific for this project installed. Now we need to go ahead and, and activate this. So the reason why I said we need to install git is I want us to be using the same commands that I will be using on a Mac. So we are going to open this in git bash, which is another command line tool similar to this Windows command line, but better in some way because it gives us a Unix type of an environment which kind of makes us feel like we're working on Linux. All right, so when we created the project, you see that it, it got created here on, on my desktop. So I'm going to say git bash here. So when I do that, you see we have this option git bash here. So when you have git, you're going to need to, you're going to have it. So when you say git bash here, it's going to open up this another terminal here. Let me zoom in this font so you guys can see properly. All right, so in here, if I do an ls, you will see that we have the folder that has our virtual environment. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and activate this virtual environment. So we can do source virtual env, and we are going to be looking for, and we are going to be looking in the scripts, and then we are going to source in the activate script. So when we run that, you will see that now we ha our virtual environment is activated, and it's highlighted here. All right, so when the virtual environment is activated by default, it's going to have Python and also pip installed in this virtual environment. So now we can use pip in this virtual environment to install Django. So here we can do pip install Django, like this. So, all right, so once this is installed, now we can use Django to create a Django project. So Django comes with a tool called Django Admin. So here we type in Django-admin. Then we want to run a command called start project. So when you call start project, you want to give it the project name. So we're gonna call ours to do site. And now we want to create this project in the current folder we are in since we already have a to do site uh, project created, which is where we are already. So we want to create this project at the root of this folder. So here we can do dot at the end and then click enter. So what that is going to do, if I do another ls, you see that now we have manage.py, then our website files and also the virtual environment. So now we can go ahead and run the Django development server by doing Python 
manage.py run server like this. All right, so when we run that, you will see that we get some information, like we have some unapplied migrations. This have to do with the default functionality that Django ships with. So for it to work very well, we need to basically migrate all the changes so our database so the database for application is aware of all the, the things that django comes with so right now if we went to this in our browser so i'm going to go ahead and copy this uh, localhost port 8000 and then i'm going to go to the browser so i'm going to open up my chrome we can navigate to localhost port 8000 and then you will see that now we have the django landing page basically showing up so this means that our server is correctly running on our development server and we are ready to start making changes. All right, so when we go back to our terminal here, you see that everything that happens on the site is logged. So whenever a request is made to access something on our development server, we get to see that a user requested for this uh, and then they were able to get it, those kinds of things. So now the next thing I want to do is to open this project in Visual Studio Code because that's where we're going to be working from. So I'm going to stop the server here and then I'm going to open this in VS Code. So if we do code dot, all right, so when it opens up, we want to go ahead and activate our virtual environment again. So we can come back over here and activate our virtual environment. And now you see that VS Code is automatically using git bash. So we can as well use all the commands we were using. So we can do source venth scripts and then we want activate. And that's gonna activate it. And now, if you don't have bash selected here and you have git installed, what you want to do is you want to click in here and then you want to say, select default shell. So what that will do is it's going to prompt you for the terminal that VS Code is going to be using by default. So make sure that you check git bash. So whenever you do that, then every time you open up a new terminal window, it's going to be using bash and you can run all the commands that can as well be run on Linux. So here you can do source venv scripts activate and you see that now the command is working fine. All right, so let's run back our server. So python manage.py run server. And you see that our server is still up and running. So now if we come back to the browser and refresh, you see that our server is still on and everything is looking good. So that's going to do it for now. So in the next video, I'm going to be doing a, a setup for a similar setup for Mac users. So after that, we can start working on our project. So thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will talk to you soon.